Today we're learning about solving equations one step and two step through the Marvel Universe. I'd sit this one out, Cap. Let's see how I can. These guys come from legend. They're basically gods. There's only one god, man. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't dress like that. So, if we look at this scale, hopefully you can see an X. We're trying to find this missing number X. Three weights here. One, two, three. And five weights here that you can't totally see clearly, but there's five weights here. So to keep this scale balanced and to find what X is, we can take off three weights from both sides. Can you see that? Three weights from both sides. So X must be the world two. world has gotten even stranger than you already know. At this point, I doubt anything would surprise me. Ten bucks says you're wrong. So let's look at another question and make one up. Let's say we've got x plus 6 equals 10. Now you can do this mentally and see, well, what plus 6 equals 10? And you know it's 4. But I want to teach you this skill so that you can solve more challenging equations later. So what we do is we want to get rid of this plus 6, so the opposite or inverse of plus 6 is minus 6. And if you take away 6 on both sides, like the scale, you get left with x equals 4. Ilya, and we're going to use the letters i, so Ilya, Ilya's age plus 3 equals 14. Now, we already know that Ilya, you're likely to be 11. Because 11 plus 3 equals 14. But we just do the inverse to solve this. And we need to practice using the inverse skill. So we can solve more challenging equations. I just don't want you to look at the i. And do 11 plus 3 is 14. Because you'll become unstuck for higher equations. So like the scale. We're going to take away this 3. Because that's a plus 3. From both sides of the equation. So that becomes 0. So Ilya. We know. You are 11. Let's try Connie's age. So let's say Connie minus 3 equals 8 years old. So the question might be like, I've got Connie's age and I minus 3 and it equals 8. So what is her real age? So what's the opposite of minus 3? We're going to plus 3 on both sides. So we know Connie's age is 11. So the powerful thing about algebra is letters can represent anything. It could be solving the temperature, a value of how much something costs, a recipe, ingredient, or even your age. And in primary school, you might have seen something like this. A square box is a mystery box. Minus 3 equals 8. So what's this mystery box to make this answer correct? Well, if we, you can see this working. If we plus three to both sides we know we're going to get 11 so the answer in the box we can double check put 11 in the box 11 minus 3 equals 8 and that's sold and that's exactly how these work hopefully that makes sense now you people are so petty and tiny i want to know why loki let us take him he's not leading an army from here i don't think we should be focusing on loki that guy's brain is a bag full of cats. He could smell crazy on him. I've care how you speak. Loki is beyond reason, but he is of Asgard. And he is my brother. He killed 80 people in two days. He's adopted. You an alien? What? From outer space, an alien? No. Well then, son, you've got a condition. Yes, the Hulk has a condition when he gets angry, Dr. Banner turns into an incredible Hulk. So now you've got to create your Marvel team, and who would you rather have, the Hulk of four? And all this information is from the Marvel database, but I've just scaled the scores upwards by a factor of four. And I have a bit of bias, because I did make the Hulk stronger. But in the Marvel database, they are equal strength. So who would you rather have in your team? You can just say, write it first, but I want you to prove and think by solving these equations who is actually better to have on your team. Pause the video and give this a go, and then I'm going to go through the answers with you now. Hopefully you can do these. 
Look at that. If we've got durability, what's the Hulk's durability? So D plus 2 equals 21. So if we minus 2 from the 21, we get his durability is 19. So 19 plus 2 equals 21. That's how we double check, and that is correct. Let's try 4. His durability is something minus 3 equals 16. So to find out what D is, to get rid of the 3, we plus 3 on both sides to get D equals 19. And let's see if that makes sense. Double check, 19 minus 3, does it equal 16? That's correct. So right now, the Hulk and Thor, they tie versus durability. I wonder who you chose. I would personally choose the Hulk because I just like him. Now let's look at the Hulk's energy. So we've got to do the inverse. We minus 7 point uh, from both sides. So his energy is in fact 4. Now let's look at Thor's energy. Well, he is a god. Opposite of minus 5 is plus 5. So that is 22. I think 4 wins this one by a difference of 18. He's plus 18 here. Now fighting ability. So let's minus 6, the opposite. So his fighting ability is 14, the Hulk's. And Thor's will plus 5, plus 5. And Thor's fighting ability is 15, which makes sense. The Hulk uses brute force. So Thor wins again. He is plus 1. Now let's look at intelligence. Well, the Hulk's not intelligent, but Dr. Banner is. So I plus 7. So to find out his intelligence, we minus 7 from both sides. And that makes the Hulk's or Dr. Banner's intelligent 18. Ooh. 4 is not as smart as we would like plus 2, plus 2 on both sides, so 2 add 2 is 4, so 4's intelligence is 4, and you can see we can substitute this back in, it's a key word to check that we know that we're always correct, this is very important, 4 minus 2 is it 2, it is, we know that's correct, is 18 plus 7 for the Hulk, 25, that is correct, so the Hulk wins this round, so, and then Hulk is plus 14 here, the difference, now let's look at agility, it's like how quick you are and how mobile you are. So that's minus 5 and minus 5 on both sides. So we get Hulk's agility to be 18. Now 4, we plus 5 on both sides. And 4's agility is 18 and they tie again. Now let's look at Hulk's strength. Well, we strength plus 10 equals 32, so we need to solve this by minus in 10 which makes his strength as 22, 4, opposite of minus 10 is plus 10, so his strength is 21, and the Hulk wins by a score of plus 1, a difference of plus 1, so Hulk is plus 15, but 4 has plus 18, so overall, you could say four wins out of a total, but if you need to invent a time machine, you might want to have the Hulk. If you want to do this on, it uh, requires a lot of strength, that would be the Hulk. But both members are equally great for your team. But hopefully you write a comment of who you, who you would choose or why that um, helps your communication skills. Hey, Banner. No Banner, only Hulk. You do it. We're friends. This is crazy. I don't want to hurt you.
go down. I won't hurt you anymore. No one will. I'm just a huge fan of the sport. Thank you for your cooperation. Now. I can sit this one out, Cap. I'll see how I can. These guys come from legend. They're basically gods. There's only one god, ma'am. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't dress like that. So, who would you have? Cat's Merkel or Black Widow? Now, the Black Widow, um, the Year 7's voted for her before she or we worked out anything at all and that's fine as well and we can see who do you think is better this is the era of girl power after all so they could be equal i'd expect captain america to be a bit stronger but black widow could be a lot more intelligent because she's a spy and she needs to be smart so i'm doing some examples here now let's imagine connie that you are actually 12 years old so if i say 2c which actually means 2 times c that actually, and I'm going to say, if 2C equals 24, well, how can we find Connie's age? We do the opposite of times by 2, which is divide by 2 on this number. So we actually get Connie. Next year, your age will be 12. What about Ilya? Well, let's say Ilya, your age divided by 2 for next year is going to equal six. So how we find out and go backwards in time to find your age, we have to multiply by two, multiply by two. So Ilya, you'll be 12 next year. Hopefully that makes sense. But let's do a function machine. We know that, because we've done function machines, let's go through this function machine for Ilya. Same examples. So we've got a number for Ilya and it is divide by two, six, we get the answer six. So if we go back to find Ilya's age, we're going back across the function machine, we have to do the opposite to get the original number. So six times two is in fact 12, which works for your age. Connie, let's do you. C for Connie's age, we're gonna let C represent your age. Going through the function machine, it says, Connie, we're doing times 2, because that's what 2C means, comes out as 24. So to find out the original number, we do the inverse. So that's divide by 2. So to find your age equals 12. And I hope those methods make sense to you. So can you work those out and decide who you would want? Well, you know, I do like Captain America. So I would probably choose Captain America on my team. But it's up to you. Who would you choose? Let's find out who's better as well at the end. So, pause the video, give these a go. So, 2D equals 10. We divide by 2. Divide by 2. So, D is in fact equal to 5. Now, remember, how can we double check we substitute the answer back in? So, is 2 times 5... Does that equal 10? Yes, yeah, so that must be correct. So what's the opposite of 3 times E? That's divide by 3. So we divide that 18 by 3, so E is 6. We've got 2F here, so we divide by 2. So that is, his fighting ability is 12. 4 times I, so we divide by 4 to get I equals 5. And you can see it working because 4 times 5 is 20. We divide by 10 here, so Captain America's agility is 10 divide by 3 here so his strength is 9 oh let's see how the black widow compares to the great american hero let's see so 2d that means 2 times d so we divide both sides by 2 which leaves d on its own so we get d equals 4 remember the inverse of plus f minus 5 is plus 5 so her energy is 6 so Captain America wins this one by plus one. Black Widow and Captain America's energy is a tie. Um, so we divide by two, so fighting ability. Hers is 10, so Captain America is a 
plus two here. Intelligence, well, she should be smarter than Captain America. Let's divide by four. But let's not make assumptions. So 36 divided by four is nine. So in, uh, intelligence is plus four. She wins this one. So it looks like two ones Captain America versus each attribute. Let's see her agility. Well, she seems very mobile in the movies, right? Like a ninja or a maths ninja. So opposite of minus five is plus five. So agility is 12. Let's double check by substituting. Very important skill to remember. You should do this always. So is 12 minus 5, 7? It is, so we know that's correct. So Black Widow wins this by, ooh, plus 2. She's looks like she's in the lead. We know Captain America's strength is 9. So that's plus 3, plus 3. So her strength is, in fact, 6. So that's Captain America plus 3. So, on each round, Captain America wins more rounds, but their totals are exactly the same, if you add them up. So, they are, in a way, equal. Like, men and women in many things are equal, and they should have equal rights. But whoever you choose, it's up to you. That's the power of choice. They all have their individual strengths. And I hope that makes sense. I'm just going to show you an example of... The Black Widow's agility in the function machine. So if you've got A and it goes through a machine and we can see it's minus 5 and it equals 7 here. To go back we know we do the opposite so it's plus 5 so it makes sense that A is 12. Hopefully this is making sense to you now.